Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera, and welcome to today's um, Live Color Along. Today's Wednesday, December 12th, and we are coloring with brush markers today. I don't know why my camera is wobbling, but my apologies. Um, so we're coloring a page from Color Along Volume 10 this morning, and we're using brush markers. And I'm using my Koi uh, brush markers. These are a Sakura product. I love these pens. They're a little pricey, but I really, really love them a lot. They have a very um, a stiff tip, if that's a, a good way of, I don't know if that's a good way of just, of describing it um, or not, but, excuse me, um, but that's what I'm using today. And we're coloring a page that can also be found in Itsy Bitsy or in the style of Tribal Abstract. So we're gonna take a look at Tribal Abstract coloring book today. I would love to flip through um, Itsy Bitsy, but it went out as part of Secret Santa. It was shipped out yesterday. So let's um, get everything settled here, see what Paisley needs. Paisley, you gonna say hello? Come here, Paisley. Come here. So, I gotta get Paisley something. So let's say good morning to everyone, first of all. Let's see who's here this morning. Hey, Chris, how, Chris Costelli is here this morning. Chris, I sent you a message earlier. Check your messages. Good morning, Jason, or good afternoon, Jason. Good morning to Abby. Hey, Alexandria, who else did I see? Uh, is Sarah here with us this morning? I know there was an earthquake where she is. Um, here's Scarlett. I know that I read that there was an earthquake this morning in parts of Georgia, Tennessee, and North, in, was it North or South Carolina? Uh, so hopefully everyone's okay. Is anyone here with us from the, uh, the area of the earthquake? Maybe that's why my camera is moving so much. Um, I think it was like at four o'clock this morning or something crazy. So hopefully everyone's okay. Hey, good morning, Cheryl. Hey, Alexandria. Who else is here? Hey, Anna Nation. Good to see you. Good to see you, Judy. Good to see you, Holly. Uh, Pam is with us this morning. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Lynn. Hey, Alice. What's happening? Uh, I think I got everybody. Can only stay for a few minutes. Have to take Melody, the dog, to the groomer, Alice is saying, right? She gets her Christmas due. Is she going to come home with bows? How cool. Um, stiff is good, right, Abby? I agree with her, with you. Um, so Chris is giving us the update on Sarah. Are you giving us the update? think so, probably very shaken up, literally, right? Heather's from Tennessee. Is Heather here this morning, Heather Berger? Um, I'm not sure if Heather had felt the earthquake this morning. Um, boy, some crazy weather happening lately, huh? Isn't that crazy? You have lots of books to replace, Anna Nation is saying. I do. All of the Secret Santa coloring books. I'm going to flip through Tribal while we talk about Secret Santa. Um, all of the Secret Santa coloring books um, were shipped yesterday. They were mailed out yesterday, along with several paintings that were purchased from my painting sale the other night. So those were shipped out yesterday. Um, and uh, so that was exciting. So take a look at those. Secret Santa books. Uh, came, the, the envelopes come with um, a little, a couple of coloring pages that are also included, um, single coloring pages. Um, so there, there's a book in there. Um, and I have all the tracking, but I wasn't going to uh, put out, I wasn't going to type in all that tracking yet. So I, I will try to get to that. Uh, but it looked like it was like a two to nine day shipping um, but you never know. It could be quick, quick. You know, it depends where you live. I know that um, I shipped something out to someone yesterday, and they told me this morning that it's arriving tomorrow. So that was pretty cool, pretty good. So this page actually is the page we're coloring this morning, but it's a little bit different in Color Along Volume 10. And it's turned into bookmarks, and you can find those bookmarks also in Itsy Bitsy. Itsy Bitsy is a variety coloring book. I don't have it with me because... Um, I don't know if Marianne's here with us this morning, but Marianne um, is uh, coloring Itsy Bitsy like crazy. Itsy Bitsy is just that. It's Itsy Bitsy. It's teeny tiny. I guess I'm on my teeny tiny phase. I've been doing a lot of uh, Itsy Bitsy paintings, tiny paintings. Um, let's see if we can find it. So this is the same page. It's been divided up so that it, we can cut it out to make bookmarks. So that's what we'll be doing this morning. Um, and Tribal Abstract, this page that's on the cover. Remember this page, Alexandria? You watched this page be drawn. This page was born, and this book was born, um, on a, uh, on Draw Live. Draw Live is happening again this Saturday. Um, hey, Bonnie Hughes. 
Heather Berger is here. Heather, how are you? Did you feel the earthquake this morning? Were you in the earthquake land? Lynn is saying, I keep losing sound. Is it on my end or yours? It must be on yours because I don't, I can't hear myself. I mute myself because I really cannot stand to listen to the sound of my own voice. Does anyone else feel like that? I do. I mute myself. Isn't that crazy? I just can't stand sometimes to listen to the sound of my own voice. When I record a podcast, oddly enough, I actually listen to that, listen to the playback. Um... And I actually am not cringing when I listen to that. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the microphone or the audio that that, that the podcast is recorded into that makes it seem a little bit different. So I have no idea. Hey, Sarah is here with us this morning. Okay, Sarah. You, Sarah and... Don't know. Just, Heather says, I don't know. I just got up. So obviously the earthquake didn't rattle Heather, but maybe it wasn't close enough to your house, Heather. But Sarah, are you in earthquake land in Georgia? We have a lot of people that watch from Georgia. Uh, Anna says, I had a package day delivered Saturday afternoon, but not show up until last night. I've had that happen several, several, several times. Um, I had that happen the other day, actually. I had a notification that it was delivered, and it showed up the next day. Crazy. I think they, I don't know what they're doing. Sarah slept through the earthquake. Well, I guess it couldn't have been that bad, right? Chris is saying, I can't stand hearing myself. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? I think I sound like Mickey Mouse. Jason says, I hate my voice as well. I hate leaving answering phone leaving answering phone messages or anything like that. Um, yeah, I, I'm not crazy about my voice either. So I, I think everyone has that problem. You didn't feel it in Florida. I didn't feel it up here in Southern New England either. So I didn't feel a thing. That would be crazy if I could feel it all the way where I am. Or even in Florida. You think it was close enough to Florida, Abby? <coughs> was it close enough to you? Holly says, Ian, sometime today can I have my tracking so I can keep an eye for it so the mailman doesn't shove it in our mailbox? Yes. Holly, you know what? Do me a favor, please, and send me a message. Send me a private message so I have that listed and I don't lose track of it. Do you mind? I'm not trying to say that I'm a scatterbrain, but um, after this call along, I do need to go some... I need to head out to... Um, I need to actually head out to the cemetery to go put flowers on my dad's grave with my mom. So, um, I never really liked doing that. Does anyone else do that? Go to a go to the cemetery to put flowers on someone's grave? I'm not really crazy about doing that. Plus, it's freezing outside, and it's very windy, and I feel like when I go there, I'm standing in a field of wind. So, but I need to go do that this afternoon. Hey, Mary Ann McCarthy, next day to Georgia about four hours away. I know, but were you close enough to feel it? I guess, right? Four hours away. I thought the, 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 the hurricane, the earthquake was in Georgia. I thought it said Georgia, um, Tennessee. Thank you, Abby. Tennessee. It's It's been, um, oh, it's been over five years. It's been five years, so, um, Jason says, we had a 4.4 quake in the north of England that are fracking. They are fracking near Blackpool and has caused several quakes there. Isn't it amazing? Heather is in the middle of Tennessee. You know, there's a couple of culinary book artists that live in, your, in the same town as you, Heather. Sarah says, yes, for my son we put flowers and can't stay too long. I can't stay too long either. I always feel like I got to get out of here. You know, I don't know what it is. I guess everybody kind of feels like that. All right. One time I took one of my dogs, and I got, they, they uh, came over to me, the people at the cemetery, actually came over to me and said that I could not have my dog there. I thought that was awful. Uh, it started in Georgia for the, um, oh, it started in Tennessee. It was in Tennessee, but was felt in Georgia. Lynn has, Lynn always has the real scoop, right? Uh, Marianne says, I just went to the cemetery last week. Yeah, it's, um, we all do it, right? Alright, you too. Paisley, you're being a bone hog. Go ahead, honey. So, I also have, um, if anyone is interested in seeing, I have, I just had a live painting sale the other night. I'm going to start coloring this with some brush markers. I'm going to put a piece of paper behind it, though, so we don't have any bleed through. Um, I actually have uh, paintings from the painting sale. I have some more paintings that were left. 
And if anyone is interesting, interest, interesting, is anyone is interesting? If anyone is interested in seeing any of the paintings that I have, I can show them this morning also. But I do have several paintings left. I also have some new paintings um, that I did yesterday. I have one painting actually that I did yesterday because I had two and uh, one of them was actually just sold this morning. So it will be off to its new home uh, later this afternoon. It'll be shipped out uh, tomorrow. And then some people ordered paintings that were custom painted for them. Uh, and Cheryl Waters, actually, your painting will be shipped out uh, later today. So it looked like the drying time was much better than I expected. So um, I'm excited about shipping that out to you. So, so many paintings. It's like they're all little tiny paintings. They're on four by six canvases. Um, so I'm excited to see them. I'm going to visit my mom on Friday, Cheryl's saying. Yeah, it's... Some people don't believe in it, right? Hey, Holly, we'll talk to you soon. <clears throat> Mary Ann says, I'm going to call with you today, but I'm using my new pencils I won from you. That's right. Um, Mary Ann won uh, Spera Farben pencils. Boy, these markers, what the heck? They're disappointing me today. I feel like they're all dried up. They're all running out. What is going on, Koi markers? Oh, this is not good. Let's use these instead. Ixnay on the koi. I'm gonna use these instead, new tech. Hey, it's live, right? It's live color along, anything that can happen. Phone could ring, the doorbell could ring, the dog could bark, the markers could run out. You know, what are we gonna do? Life, life gets in the way, right? All right, we gotta do something to my, my error. Whew. Okay, there we go. Hey, so tomorrow is a uh, brush lettering class, beginner brush lettering class. And um, boy, I'll tell you, when it rains, it pours when things break down, right? Because yesterday I was printing something and um, it was a lot, a lot to print. And all of a sudden, my paint printer got completely jammed and a glob of ink came out on a piece of paper. And I gotta tell you, I must have cleaned the print head about 20 times, no low lie, 20 times to get that thing to, to get to be clean. Um, to the point where I finally put, I think I still have ink on my fingers actually. I actually um, had to use a pair of pliers to pry out some sort of, I don't even know what it was. It looked like maybe a piece of dust was in there. But I finally got it to, I hope it's fixed because I still need to print out my brush lettering uh, PDF booklet for tomorrow's class because I am not organized enough to uh, do things way ahead of time, right? Printers are not my friend, Marianne, saying, you know, you know what I was printing, Marianne, is I was printing the Oracle class uh, PDFs. It was crazy. I mean, I was to the point where I was... I was very close to going online and looking to see about buying a new printer, but I was determined to not let, not be beaten by this uh, problem with technology and to go um, and to fix it. So hopefully it's fixed, but, um, oh man, I print too, way too much stuff. Last night when I was printing uh, shipping labels for some uh, stuff that I was shipping out, um, it seemed to be okay. So I guess the ink just needed to dry. But we'll talk about a glob. Printers are, are tough little little creatures, aren't they? <clears throat> yeah, those are huge PDFs, aren't they, Marianne? And I print them like at 80%. There's a lot to them. So I decided to save them after that. I just downloaded them to my computer. Um... So I decided to just save them that way. So why am I printing them? But I like to have the hard copy. What about you? Are you a uh, save the PDF or and go back online? I like to have it in my hand, you know, um, rather than just uh, only having the digital things in digital form. I feel like it's just I don't know what it is. It's like do you read a digital a book online on your like on your um, on a Kindle? Or do you want to uh, have the book in hand? So I'm just treating these markers just simply like um, regular markers and coloring these spots here. 
And when you're taking a look at uh, brush markers, some of them come in different size tips. And Abby was, uh, Abby, do you have a, what was the brand that you purchased yesterday that you were talking about with the different size tip? I know you sent me a picture of it, but I don't remember the brand off the top of my head. Um, some of them have actual, the, the brush tip actually looks like a paintbrush. They look like, um, I don't know if you can see on this one. Can you see that it's happening on that? That you can actually see the little hairs. So it looks like a brush. I don't really want to pull it apart too much. But, um, or some of them are like the Koi blockers and they're more of a felt tip. <clears throat> you prefer the real book too, um, Marianne? I, I agree. I prefer the real book. I don't know what it is. Are we old school? What do you think it is? I mean, there's kids that are like, I mean, think about um, kids, the youth of today. You know, think about the youth of today. I'm going to make these all different colors. I'm not going to continue this on because this is its own separate uh, bookmark right here. Okay. So, I mean, think about people today that um, grew up like kids, the people that are like in their 20s. Um, everything is digital. Right. I mean, some of them don't even have checks for their checkbook. I mean, I very rarely write a check either, but at least I have checks. I mean, I do have that check that I carry around in my wallet that is written to myself for $10,000. Does anybody else have that as a law of attraction type thing where you carry around something? Wasn't it Jim Carrey who had done that? And then he uh, got paid that same exact amount from his very first movie. I think it was like $10 million or something crazy. Sarah is saying, if someone wanted to learn calligraphy, which would be better, a pen or a marker? It really, really depends, to, to be honest with you. I mean, if you have never, have you ever done calligraphy ever before at all? Because you can actually do callig calligraphy with uh, Crayola Super Tips. Because the marker is, has a chisel tip, so um, it that's what makes a difference. So if you wanted to use, I mean, you could do calligraphy with a marker that has a chisel tip that is specifically a calligraphy pen that's probably the best thing to use um if you really want in it but you can also use a crayola super tip because it has a pen has that tip and if you are really hardcore uh really want to learn the correct way uh you could use a nib like a um with an inkwell and gold spot pens really make some very very nice pens a little expensive but um there are much cheaper versions out there that you could use lynn says i prefer audible books but i print out way too much I don't like an audible book. I get annoyed with the sound of the person's voice. And I have a book that I'm working on myself that's a, a fiction novel that I wrote that I need to type. And I am so bad at just sitting here and typing. You don't even know. Um, but uh, audiobooks are like are the wave of the future. They're really hot right now. And I really need to turn it into an audiobook. So I may have to sit here and, and read my book. So... I don't know. Chris says, I like to have it in my hand. A friend of mine keeps telling me to only print out what I want. Yeah, you know, every time I get an order on my website, I print it out. And even if somebody has downloaded a free page, I print out the order. And then the other day, I looked over at the stack of paper that I had from all of the orders from my website. Um, because they included a lot of freebies. And said to myself, why am I printing out all these freebies? But I kind of like to know. You know, I don't know. So... And you never know what could happen, that I might lose someone's order or lose someone's information. So I have not been printing out the freebies lately. I've only been printing out the paying customers. But I'm so, like, on the fence about it. I don't know what to do. Jason says, I really like to read both Kindle and hard copy, but I have my favorite series of books in hard copy. I use Kindle for work when I'm going and traveling. Yeah, I'm not really crazy about using uh, Kindle. Pepper Studio River Art. Is that what it's called, Abby? Those are the pens she uh, bought. Those are pretty cool. Anna Nation says, I printed tons of mini angels in their form letters with the rest of my semester print balance at the college yesterday for my final. Oh, a lot of people do that, right? Do you think they would like that you did that, though? Isn't that crazy? I like the real book, says Heather, but can't see to read it. On, on the Kindle, I can make the pages black. Hopefully, that will change after the 21st. Oh, what, are you having surgery, Heather? Marianne says, my 24-year-old likes real books as well, but we also like the convenience of the digital. That's why That's what I want now. And yes, I have the check as well. Do you have it? See? Does anybody else have, carry around a check of for X amount of dollars for the future? Do you write out, Marianne, do you write out um, uh, checks for the new moon? I write out new moon abundance checks every time there's a new moon. Um, I had learned about those from uh, this website called newmooncheck.com. And her name is Dakara, Dakara Keys. 
And she is, do you know, are you familiar with her, Marianne? She um, is like the creator of the new moon checks. And I had the opportunity to interview her, actually. And she was a co-host one time um, during my call along. And we did a whole thing. And we did a calling page all based on the new moon. And that was kind of a, a riot, actually. That was great. <clears throat> if the print is large enough, I prefer the book. Uh, Bonnie's saying. Yeah, some of them. Are, well, I have to say, good luck, Heather. I have to say, um... Print is what is printed on like the bot, like say like a packaging of something like a food product or whatever, or even medication. The print is very small. It's too small. The font size is not as big as it ever used to be. It has definitely come down. So here we are all walking around thinking, boy, I really need glasses. I My vision is not good. I can't even see that. Let me tell you, that size print I know how big it should be, and <clears throat> it is way smaller than it should. So I'm using this kind of this orange color right here. You know, our friend, Orange Doll. I'm going to put this one with pink, too, in the middle. Now, because this is this brush has kind of like has looks like it actually has brush hairs, that's why I can get that texture that's there. But I can continue to go back over it to fill it in if you want it to be a little more solid. But some of them I'm liking that it's looking like texture because I want it to look like I did it with an actual brush. But see how that just filled in right there? So that's not too bad. And then on this side, I'm going to kind of give it, um, make it look like it actually has a paintbrush effect to it. Miriam is saying, yes, that's when I do them as well. New Moon. No, I do not know her. I'm fairly new to this. Oh, you need to check her out. Go to newmooncheck.com. She is awesome. She does a uh, manifesting call. You can actually join her membership. I'm not part of her membership, unfortunately. But um, she has some checks you can print out. And um, it's really cool, actually. I've done it for years. I also uh, follow Jan Spiller. And Jan Spiller does New Moon Astrology, where every time there's a new moon, you can um, different... Thing, every new moon has a different theme where it focuses on different parts, uh, different topics and subjects. Um, so check that out. New Moon Astrology by Jan Spiller. So there's that deep purple color. And I'm going to put some deep purple on this side too. Does anybody have a laminating machine? Because we could easily laminate these. I'll send them to you. <laughs> Um, Sarah's saying, I need something I can take with me to read when needed. Yeah, I don't usually take things with me to read anymore. I used to. Boy, my dogs are in their glory today. I don't know what they're doing over there, but they're keeping themselves busy this morning. Lately, they've been very mischievous. Anybody else's dogs go through like a mischievous phase? Oh, really? Oh, Marianne. I've never been to a new moon drumming. Have you ever been to, um, Marianne, have you ever, Marianne lives close to me. Have you ever been to, uh, um, Angel Lights in, what is her name? Is she in Cumberland or is she in Lincoln? She's either in Cumberland or Lincoln. Have you ever heard of her? But Barbara's saying it looks like a butterfly. I love butterflies. It does kind of look like a butterfly, doesn't it? Hey, Diana. Where am I going to put this pink? I guess I'll put it back here. This set um, of new tech uh, pens, um, the... Sh the the barrel of the actual pen of the marker is much thicker than you would expect. Um, and some of them, I don't know. There's some interesting colors. Like this is a really cool pink. This is more like a fuchsia, I guess. Um, as opposed to the one that I used here, which is more of like a, I don't know, a rosy color, I guess. And then it's got this funky color. I'm not really sure what this is. Let's test this one. Oh, that's brown. I'm not really sure I want to use that. It looks a little boring to me. Um, I'm going to add some more green. 
on the side here. And then you can do other things with brush markers too. You, we could put dots. We could do another one with some dots. That would be kind of fun with these brush markers. Put some more green right here. So December 12th, 12 more days till Christmas, right? Isn't that crazy? Can't even believe it. it seems like just time is flying. Flying around. This is a brush marker, Barb, and it is uh, made by New Tech Watercolor Brush Pens. Um, I'm not sure what the price of these are. Maybe 17 or so? Something like that. Chris, I found a beautiful bed and breakfast near you, Heather was saying. Are you going to see to visit Chris, Heather? Sounds like there's like a coyote or something outside my window. It's like the weirdest noise. A lot of coyotes in my area lately, kind of running around. Now this brush looks like it's kind of running out, doesn't it? The ink is just not flowing the way it should. There we go. Maybe it's how I'm holding it. I don't know what it is with this one. Hey, Diana saying, I just popped in to wish you all a great day. I'm at the dentist not having fun at all. Oh, Diana, I'm sorry to hear that. All right, let's see what other colors I have here. Um, I'm going to go back to this pink color here. So these two are complete. Well, I've got to put some pink right here. And now I am 11 days until Christmas, right? So this pink is kind of cool. This is kind of like a magenta color. And I'm gonna put this area here in a nice solid color. Now when I'm done with these, I'm gonna cut these out and I'm gonna have them use them as bookmarks. And then you could laminate them or you could leave them unlaminated. Um, Bookmarks are kind of a cool thing to give as a gift, along with a book. Um, and I actually have some a variety of different bookmarks. This page is available on my website right now as a single page bookmark. And then there's some other bookmarks. There's a Christmas theme one. So there's a variety of bookmarks that are available on my website as single pages right now. That you can print yourself. Print them on cardstock if you want to. Now this is just in the regular size, regular paper in this book. But you could easily print them on cardstock. Maybe you could glue them to cardstock, give them uncolored. Yeah, I don't think the coyotes are going to get me, Barb. I think I'm going to stay away from them. Is it 13? That's right, 13 days. Exactly. Heather, Alexandria is counting the days. Are you ready for Christmas, Alexandria? Have you done all your shopping? My shopping's done. It's done, and I need to now wrap. I think there might be one or two things I need to pick up in order to wrap them. I need tissue paper. That's what I need so I can wrap. But I shopped early this year. And a good thing I did because I did not sh I shopped for a couple of things online. But uh, for the most part, I shopped in the store. And um, I went back to one store the other day that I had shopped at. And I could not believe how much stuff was gone. So it was crazy. Jason, his birthday is on Christmas Eve. Start starting my shopping on... Alexandra say not starting my shopping until the 21st. I love shopping last minute. Oh, you're a last minute shopper. I am not a last minute shopper at all. I would be freaking out. How about people that shop right on Christmas Eve? <gasps> Stressful. 
I think that's just way too stressful. All right, so that's that section there. And then I'm gonna add some dots. I'm gonna put some blue, some dark blue, and just kind of speckle it a little bit on these areas and leave white in the background. And here again, on this section here. And then just to kind of uh, mimic that color here, to kind of make your eye move around, I'm gonna add it here. in here, and I'm just gonna add some blue on these little stripes here. Put some in here, in here, and right there. You could glue these to magnet sheets. That's a really good idea, Lynn, thank you. That's an excellent idea. Um, Where's my purple? Yeah, that's a really good idea. Abby is saying, done and holiday is over. Did you already celebrate Christmas? I wish it was over. Should I leave that section white? I think I will, those little pieces. And now for this one, I guess I could do this last one in the Christmas theme since we're talking about Christmas. I'll break out some red. Here's some red. And uh, do this one in a Christmas theme. Add some red and green. Oh, that's right. Hanukkah is over, right? So, um, is it a relief that the holiday is over, Abby? Christmas has so much hype, doesn't it? You're not a last minute shopper? Too much hype, too much commercialization with Christmas. Don't you guys think? We miss the spirit of Christmas. So these are just little tiny bits of red and then we could make it a little funky with adding some green. Um, I'll add some green to this section here. And I'm gonna leave it so that it has that little bit of texture there so you can see the white, so it has, a, has the feel of the brush there. Oh, Abby, it must be very difficult. That's a, This is a tough month for a lot of people, you know? Um, a lot of pressure, right? Plus, it's cold, and it just makes you wonder if the holiday season would be... Um, I mean, is, is it cold where you are, though? Because you're in Florida, right, Abby? So maybe it's not that cold. But it's freezing here right now. It gets dark early. It's just not good. Okay, well, I'm on my complaint train. We need to stop this train and get off. Okay, what can we talk about that's happy? Okay, what's everyone doing um, for excitement today? Anyone doing anything interesting for, for interesting today for excitement? Hey, Miss Marianne, what's your favorite memory of Christmas, Barb is asking? Mine is Twas the Night Before Christmas. was my favorite story. My favorite memory of Chris... Oh, I'm adding orange. What am I doing? That is not what I wanted to add. Lost my mind there for a second, Barb. Uh, my favorite memory for Christmas... Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess as a kid, it was just a lot of memories of like, um, actually, when I was a kid one time, I swear I saw Santa Claus walking down the hallway outside my bedroom door. I'm convinced it was him in a red suit. I mean, maybe it was, I don't know if I've lost my mind or if I did lose my mind at the time, but I really think he was walking down the hall in my house. Heather's working on Christmas chair. Awesome. Some people don't take to the, take to the, 
to enjoy take time to enjoy and they like to rush rush. I agree with you, Bob. What's um first holiday without John? Um it must yeah, that's hard, Abby. People always miss people around the holiday, right? Um, I know, it's weird. I guess my favorite memory would be uh, food. <laughs> There's a favorite memory. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to this. Um, a lot of, I guess, food. We always had a lot of food at holidays. Almost like too much food. This Christmas, my holiday meal is not going to be gigantic like, it, like a typical holiday meal. Um, so... I'm not really sure what the actual final menu will be, but it'll be non-traditional. Like my my Thanksgiving dinner was non-traditional when I made pizzas and homemade dog biscuits. So there'll be something for the dog. Okay, so there's that. Let's get break out a pair of scissors if I can only find them in this mess. In this mess. Lynn Miller says I binge watch all of Miss Maisel on Amazon yesterday. Did you watch season two? I tried watching season two the other day. I was so annoyed. Where is my scissors? I've got to, something, need something to cut with here. Uh, aha, I found it. I watched, um, food is awesome. That it's an Italian gathering. Yeah, exactly. A lot of food, right? It's always something like, um, like the typical thing. Um, I liked Miss Maisel. I liked season one. You watched the whole thing yesterday, both seasons? Oh, I don't know if I could have done it. I can only stand a few episodes at a time of an, of any show. Um, because then I start to be I start thinking about them. Like I'm worried about them. Like I'm watching um I'm almost done with it. I think I have the last episode left. I'm watching Being Mary Jane on Netflix. And the other day, I was doing something, and I started thinking, boy, I really hope that Kara, one of the characters in the show, I really hope she's okay today, because she really wasn't feeling good at the end of the day. Let me tell you, that's when I realized, oh my God, I am watching way too much of the show. That I'm actually concerned about these people. <laughs> right? Hey, the girls are... <clears throat> The girls are playing with their toys. I don't know what they're doing. They're busy today. Very busy. I was exhausted from the trip, did a lot of laundry. I, I think that Miss Maisel would have exhausted me. No, was it good? Seriously, because the first season was really good. Um, but the second season, I tried watching it that very first episode when the two, when the, um, she went to Florida with her dad because the mother left. Now, why did the mother leave? It was, it is a good show. It I think it starts out as being, um... It gets better as you watch it, I think. But maybe the, the second season, that episode, maybe I was tired or something, but I was like, too much to take. You know the scene in the second episode? I'm going to be spoiler alert here. But um, that's when you know you're watching too much, right, Kristen? And I'm thinking, or oh, how about this? How about when I start dreaming of people, people in coloring groups? Does that mean I'm, in, I'm online too much? That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's when I know I'm, I'm watching too much. When I'm start, I start to like, I'm, I'm start to worry or start to feel concerned for the people on the show. It's crazy. Okay. Need to get a life, right? They're too quiet. I know they're being very good today. I don't know what happened. They were not good last night. They were in cahoots. Let me tell you, Paisley has this thing where she opens the bathroom door. And let Scarlet in, and Scarlet steals a roll of toilet paper. And I have to tell you something. I'm not trying to sound cheap, but I see dollar signs when that dog steals a roll of toilet paper because toilet paper is not cheap for dogs to play, cheap enough for dogs to play with, right? So I, I just cringe because she takes that whole roll and she runs through the whole house and she looks at me like, ha ha ha, look what I have. So, but Paisley opens the door for her. So they I think they just didn't, they're working together. Let me tell you. And then Paisley walks back, walks by me like, like she's whistling like, do, 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 do. I've done nothing wrong. I'm not part of this. And then Scarlett's the one that gets in trouble. Really, I actually, I just can't stop laughing when it happens, but, which is not really good, right? So they think I'm playing with them. All right. So here's the part of the first episode of season two of Miss Maisel. 
Um, <laughs> Let me say, my you are right. My daughter and I were discussing the season, and we both had concerns about the characters. Yeah, I have I, my mom and I do that. We're like talking about them, and then finally, I have to like stop our conversation and say, "Wait a minute, these people are on TV. They're now part of our lives, right?" Um, yeah, the toilet paper situation is a, is kind of a riot. It's, they're characters, let me tell you. But I know that they're working together. I really believe that Paisley is like. Um, I don't know. Is Dawn here? Dawn, are you here today? Dawn, do you know? I think she's here, right? I thought I saw Dawn. I don't know. Maybe I just, maybe it's just thinking, I'm just thinking about people and I'm seeing it in my head because I'm doing too many live color alongs. I don't know. Dawn is here. All right, Dawn. So Dawn, you posted something this morning about uh, finding an empty bag of treats or something and you think that your cat, um, you think that you uh, said that you thought your cat took it. Is that what you said? I'm actually going to laminate laminate these with packing tape. So let me move my mess out of the way. Because I feel like I should finish it. <clears throat> Dawn is telling the story about her cat, about her dogs eating a whole bag of treats. I'm going to use packing tape. My dogs ate a whole bag of home bis homemade biscuits last night. Now they know where they are and never touched them before. But one cat was upstairs when we left, Dawn is saying. And he's gotten down a bag of treats left on the cupboard for the dogs. So the dogs ate the whole bag. Yeah, isn't that hysterical? Abby says, my Goldens always work together getting in trouble. Yeah, they definitely work together getting in trouble. I mean, they are in it. And, but Paisley thinks that she's not part of it. And she likes to get Scarlet in trouble. And Scarlet is such a gullible little character that she just goes along with it. And I finally say to her, you know, she's getting you in trouble. Like, what are you doing? You know? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to take one of these. Let's do this one because it's my favorite, because it has orange all over it. And I've got cardstock here. I'm going to put it on cardstock. And then I'm going to take some packing tape. And this packing tape is wider or as wide. Is it as wide? Mm, maybe not, huh? Oh, it's going to just cut it. Like, just, just cut it, okay? All right, I'm going to take a piece of this. And I'm going to actually tape it down. I need to do another one. Another, another section of it. You could use scotch tape, too. Yeah, they're crazy, Heather. Let me tell you. All right, so I've got some tape there. And now, I'm not going to put tape on the other side, but I am going to cut this out now. I need to buy some more packing tape. Yeah, she lets her do the dirty work. She's not going to get in trouble. She's not stupid. So I'm just going to cut this out so now it's just simply laminated like that. And it has a harder back on it. And then you could easily put this onto magnet paper. You could stick Velcro on the back of this, maybe glue some Velcro. You know those Velcro strips? And this is my bookmark. There we go. Should have cut it a little bit closer here, so I'll see if I can get that. My lighting is like glaring from the camera. All right, so we have our first bookmark. And the back of it is not laminated, but it's stiff enough that it's okay to use as a bookmark. I'm gonna do another one. I guess I'll do this Christmas one. Stick this right here. <clears throat> So I don't know what makes them do that, but you know, do you think that your cats, your dogs told your cat to do that, Dawn? I kind of always think that they're definitely like working together. They like to be mischievous. I think they think that I need to like be, I don't know, I need to keep hop, keep, they need to like keep me hopping or something. Paisley's in the background moaning. Maybe she knows I'm talking about her. Oh, I know, Paisley. Isn't it awful? Okay, so... I was going to say, what the heck is going on here? I'm going to cut this out so I can get inside there. So, um, I have some paintings from my painting sale the other evening. 
and I still have them. So if anyone is interested, let me know. I can pop those paintings on camera today and let you guys see those paintings because there's still time to get those paintings delivered um, for a holiday season or just for yourself, right? Um, what's the problem, Paisley? You know I'm talking about you. Hey, Donna. All right, I don't know what happened here, but apparently I have made a little bit of a mistake. So they, that's what these end up turning out to be, these little bookmarks. So check this book out. This is from Itsy Bitsy on uh, Amazon. There's a link in the description of this video. She is saying that, Chris. She's saying, hey, it's me, Paisley. I'm over here. Don't forget me. Paisley, I didn't forget you at all. I see you. It's me, Paisley. Here I am. Attention seekers, huh? Oh, Paisley. Okay. I've got some small paintings. I'll show these small paintings before we leave. I know that someone just sent me a message actually and asked me about it. Um, get this stuff out of the way. Hey, so you're making it sound like you're really like injured. And you're not. So I've got a few of these paintings. Um, she's saying you do know that I can hear you, right? I can hear you, Paisley. That bad, huh? These dogs crack me up. Okay, so here's uh, a few different paintings that I've got going on. And these are all available on my website. These are all $15 without a frame or $20 with a frame. And they're four by six on canvas panels. Do they make you laugh, Bob? They make me laugh, too. Um, they're characters. My house would be very boring without them. So, um, this one has just some, I call them the fried egg flowers. I don't know what the name of this painting is on the website, but that's what I call them. And then I have, um, another silhouette painting. Did I already put that one out? Oh no, it was similar. Um, and I'm going to be working, walking on, working on, uh, she does, she's like, don't tell my secrets. I know, really, isn't she, Anna? I don't know why she's doing that. Paisley. She's laying down in like the most comfortable leather chair. You may think she was laying down in like, I don't know, filthy squalor, right? Um, here's three more. I love this one. I don't know if I want to even sell this one because it has these little forests, this little, these little three. Um, here's one that was just done yesterday. This is my newest one. Uh, little field of daisies. I call it little daisies. That bad, huh, Paisley? What's the matter? The chair isn't comfortable enough today? It's like she talks back to me. So anyway, these are the paintings. So check them out. Share them with your friends. Um... And that's about it this morning. So I don't want to keep you because it's a busy, busy day, right? Busy, busy day here. Paisley says, hey, what the heck? Um, <laughs> thanks for joining me, everyone. And I'll be back on um, Monday for another live call along. But in the meantime, we have Draw Live on Saturday for the membership group. And that's at 10 a.m. on Saturday. And then... Um, <laughs> I'll be painting live over the next couple of days, actually. Can you do a painting class with little daisies? Yes, I can. I can do it, Lynn. You know what's funny about this painting, Lynn, these paintings with these little daisies, is that it, it, becomes, what, it, it becomes its final piece after the color is applied, and then I take a look at it and say, okay, what could this be? And that's what, so it kind of takes on its own, it, it takes on itself. No, she's not asleep, Sarah. Now she's up. Anyway, let me go see what my crazy dogs need next. Just call me the dog servant. Okay, I'll see everyone in the next, and probably over the next couple of days, I'm going to go live either, I don't know, maybe tonight, tomorrow, 
Um, tomorrow we have brush lettering class if anyone's interested in signing up for that. And that's about it. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.